Well, hey folks, DC7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Minecraft. Thanks for joining me here today as I muck about with a little pack I put together. Chicken's doing good? Yes, I'm just out here picking up my uh, morning egg, or uh, ink run. And, whoa! And, of course, having my, my morning bath. Boom. Nice. Good morning, chickens. As you can see, we are, uh, we're up a couple chickens, for sure. Oh, here comes another egg. Come on, then. You can do it. There you are. All right. So I do hope everybody's doing absolutely phenomenal today. Okay, crops are looking reasonable. And... What have we got? A bunch of this. A bunch of this. And what else did we get? We got some eggs, but the eggs... I like to feed in here. Boom. There we are. Now if I need a, a box of sticks or a bag of rocks, it's much easier to get. Now last time around... We were working down here, and I put the basic power system together for mechanism and built us a couple of, well, a couple couple of the metallurgic infusers so that we could sort of proceed onward and upward with the whole project, building things like basic control circuits and that sort of thing. I'm going to take a quick little break from this room today. Because those sharp-eyed individuals amongst you might have noticed. We got a little something-something going on over here. Yes, indeed. Hello, the bees. <laughs> I figured something out. Bees know how to work trap doors. Or, um, pressure plates. Yeah. I came by and um, borrowed a cup of honey, and for some reason this seemed to upset them, and they chased them, and I went ha-ha and ran into my house, and they went ha-ha and flew into the house right after me. I don't think they actually do any damage, but it is rather disconcerting. So this humble little wooden cabin is going to be my enchanting room. Now... I suppose there's an argument to be made that because Tinker's has such a loverly, that oh, was well done species, a loverly complement of tools and armors and such to be made, perhaps an enchanting table is a little bit of a, well, extraneous activity. But, I beg to differ. Some of the, I think pretty much everything you can do with an enchanting table you can do in Tinkers. Like, so far as, you know, whether you want your sword to do more damage, or your pick to go faster, or, you know, silk touch things, or be lucky, or whatever you're, you know, I'll really like to play your end of the game. Um, and we need a diamond. Ah, did I get one? No, dummy. But you run into two things. One, Enchanting costs only experience. Um, and lots of things give you experience. I mean, harvesting coal gives you experience. You know, uh, harvesting redstone. There's, yeah, I think any of the fuels, actually. Um, you know, punching out a bee. Oh, don't worry, I wouldn't do that, buddy. But, yeah, there's there, there's lots of ways... I do have an enchanting table, or a uh, crafting table. Now, I... Jeez, I don't know. Do I know how to make one? Oh, I don't. <laughs> it's been that long, hasn't Species? Do I only need three of these in the diamond? No. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's changed. Maybe I just have no idea. Here we are. One enchanting table. Oh, two, di two diamonds in a book. Ooh. All right, well, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> yeah, hold that thought. 
I will, uh, uh, I will return two diamonds. Jeez. But yeah, so there are some things I would definitely like better, um, with tinkers. Like, I mean, that hammer, like, you know, you can bang out nine blocks at a time and at, at a pretty peppy little pace, you know. So, sure, that's a, that's a great device. Oh, another freaking... Uh, the other thing we're going to need, and we're actually going to need a few of them. Do I have an empty book? No, I don't, but I have more paper than I know what to do with, don't I? Yes. And there is a reason for that. All right, where are our hides of the beast? Here they are. How many do we have? Forty. All right, well. Let's grab a few. Let's grab uh, some plankage. Nice. All right, now. We need one book. What was that it was producing? Hmm. Um, for the table. All right. The rest of the books, so they're just all going to pile on there anyway. 16, eh? Really? Yeah. Well, I don't really have much other use for them, so I suppose. I suppose. Thirty of them. That's still not going to be enough. But it will get us a start, I guess. Yes. Well, it's only 29 books, isn't it? Ew. Um. All right. Well, let's commit those thirty to bookcases. Let's grab one more, and this will be for the actual table itself. There we go, and grab our book. Thirty-one books. All right. Well, close enough. You know, clear the table. Put away the pepper. Boom. All right, so now I believe if we do the oh well that went well. I didn't realize I dropped the blocks on the first line, and we do this should get us ten of those, and it does. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Sun, she's a going down. Yeah, the bee across the river there, checking out the f different stuff on that side that he can get some pollen from. I guess, yeah, we got torches in here. We're good. All right, well, greedy, greedy thing. Um, one enchanting table. All right, and our feeble little supply of bookcases. So... We require one, two, three, four, five, with the table here. All right, and then one, two, three, four, five, and we need at least three more bookcases, right? Um, what have I got here? Let's see, just to test the level. Yeah, see, we're only good up to level 20 here. So, he's not the going to do it. Yeah, we need three more, I believe, to uh, to make this a full level 30 enchanting station. Which means um, nine more books. Guess how many leather I have left. <laughs> uh... And I am legitimately going out and getting all this stuff, so it's not like I ended up with that many of them because I knew I'd need exactly this many. No, that just happened to be how many, uh, how many of these I've run across. There we go. Since I started playing. So. Oh. Go a few more planks. Thank you. 
Yes, indeed. And, oh, would help if I made the paper first, wouldn't it? Nine. And, boom, nine books. Okay, lots of extra paper. We'll do that, we'll do that. And I need one more there, that's fine. Three bookcases. All right. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Wee. So if you're new to the channel and you like the content, maybe consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And of course, hit that like button. All right, let's just uh, go this way. It's just right across the yard after all. We haven't done much with Batani yet either. We really should get on with that. Okay. Now, I believe I don't have enough levels to do a, a top enchantment at the moment, but this should at least tell us if we're in a position to do such a thing. We also need, of course, lapis. Uh, it's still only showing a 21. Oh, maybe because that's all the levels that I have, so it's only going that high, that's a possibility. I have a cure for that. I've actually scored almost twice as much uh, as what I'm showing here. There it is, my XP tome. And if I simply right-click it, there we are. As you can see, I actually have 36 levels, not 20-something. Could have brought some uh, 22. Hmm. I was sure that was enough bookcases. Maybe I need. Do I need another single here and here, I wonder? Hmm. Well, that's a possibility in the meanwhile. Let's refill my little book here. Let's keep it in here, actually. That's a, a much better place. There we are. Hmm, <laughs> no pressure plates. I have to hide in there from the bees the next time I need to uh, borrow some honey. Well, so we definitely cannot, at this point, um, finish my little pro. Well, I suppose we could, uh, you know, go find us a couple of the moos. I wish you could shear cows, but you can't. That must be a flock of fish. Uh, oh, you're that spooky black piggy. I might have to go all the way to the uh, villager's place. Hello, sheepy. Hey, I've got my shears with me. Good stuff. Yoink. What? You know you like it. Nee. <laughs> Wee. Didn't even notice, did you? But you're naked now. For shame. Now, I thought there was some cows. Oh, they're in a pen. I don't want to go killing the cows that are in a pen. I thought there was some, uh, you know, wilder ones. Hello. <laughs> well, there isn't a hiding between the cows. You thought that would save you? No. The mad shearer is here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Uh... Hey, farmer, farmer. See any wild cows in the area? No. Well, thanks. 
Hmm. Well, the only other place I know where there is some cowage. Oh, hang on. To what should my wondering eye should appear? But a fat cow stuck in here. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you. And did you leather me now? You did. We are now only one shy. Hi there. Oh, uh, <laughs> just hammering in some nails. <clears throat> Nothing to see here. Yes. Ear horses. They give leather too, but I don't know. I'm just old school, I guess. I wow. Huh. We well, grow a coat there, buddy. Man. That's uh that's pretty impressive. We'll have the place carpeted in no time. But I want at least one piece of carpet. Because I don't uh I don't want to have just one beehive. I'd like to have a few. But I don't want to have to run away every time I harvest. So what you do is you dig a hole, you put a fire pit in it. Um, and then the smoke comes, bees, and you can come up and grab their honey, right? And there's no questions asked. Oh, he just went inside. Now I really don't want to be... But see, it's ready. It's dripping honey on the ground. But the problem with the whole fire thing... <laughs> is your bees fly too close to it and set themselves on fire <laughs> and they don't seem to be bright enough to jump into the river and put it out so yeah without bees whatever honey you get out of this it'll be the last you get so yeah the way around that is you build a fire in there and then oddly enough you put a piece of carpet over it and that's enough to uh, to do the job so, yeah, we only got one. So, the other cowage I've seen has been, there's usually a, ooh, time to harvest a wee bit of wood, eh? Is way up the side, there they are, look at them all. Excuse me, piece of leather to spare. <laughs> I'm your worst nightmare. Oh man, I tell you, you're a pretty airy group, aren't you? Good lord, you're the mountain goats of cows. Hi there. And we're good. In fact, that one contributed enough for a couple of books. But I'm going to make just what I need. And the other one we're going to put back in the drawer. So that it has a space. Yeah, i got to come up here and whack down a couple of trees. That's why I have three axes on me. Because there's sort of a vein miner thing going on, it takes a fair bit of durability. Quicker than the self-heal thing can work. Ah, uh, I put the paper away. I'm an idiot. That's okay. But, by the time I get through the third one, the first one is already back to a usable state again. So yeah, whenever I harvest the trees, I take three axes. I could build one good one, I suppose, but, you know. Oh, I did have the paper on me. Well, you're a freak species. <laughs> And then click on the block and pretend it's a crafting table. That'll fool people. All right. One, two. Oh, what am I doing? I need way more than that. Way more than that. I need enough for two bookcases. That's six books. <gasps> Dang, man. That's only enough for one more bookcase. And that's a minimum. I'm one plank short, too, of course. You know? Of course. What's this? Blossom planks. 
Well, that sounds pretty scary. Here, let's just go dark oak. What's going on? Oh, I know why. Because I've got so many of these that I just put them away. That would be what's going on there. Boom, okay. So now... Let's at least get one more of these. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold that thought. That's what this stupid thing's for. Book. So that I don't waste entire episodes doing things like hunting for ki what? Oh no. Don't tell me. <laughs> uh yoink. Okay, have you not learned a book? Oh, that was close. Okay, good thing. So where are you? There it is. One, two, three. Nice. And that is the beauty of that particular mod. Boom. Now, I don't know if that's enough yet, but it's dark out. Of course, you know, because why wouldn't it be? I'm afraid to ring that. I think that might be what brings that villager with his spitty old llamas. Llamas? Sorry. Llama, bama, whamma. Well, I didn't go out and get my ink. Uh, well. It's either despawned or I didn't get any this morning. I guess they know that I'm getting a pretty good supply of it. Alright, let's, uh... Yoing and yoing. Oh, look, they're a different wood. And anything looking uh, any different in here? 24. Hmm. Well, I might need a couple more. I don't know if that's gonna do it. So, do I have, oh, barely, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Uh. Let's try that. A disenchanter. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I see. Okay. Doesn't help. Okay. Uh. Oh. <laughs> ah, that was a good trick. That was a good trick. Yeah. Crouch and then do what you need to do. <laughs> Didn't work so well. Ow! In the opposite order. Did not work so well indeed. Now the other thing. We'll throw this in here. There we are. That mellows it out a bit, eh? So I don't think you can do... Yeah, you can't do tools from tinkers. It's really too bad. You know, but like an iron pickaxe. Look, 24. Unbreaking 3. See, if I put that on there, I could pretty much... Well, I wonder if it's only because I don't have enough. I could pretty much uh, 
use that constantly and it wouldn't break because I've got this thing as well, the repair talisman. Let's just make sure we've got enough levels on us. Alright. Oh, it still says 24. Hmm. Disarming life leech. Sharpness 1. If not very good. Looting one. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. Sharpness three. No, that's not bad. Sharpness one, two, and three? Hmm. That would be quite the sword. It won't do that, of course, but I think that would bring it up pretty darn good. Hmm. Well, I want to figure out why this is not, uh, not doing what I need it to do. So, what do you have to say for yourself now? 28. Okay, well, apparently, I still don't have enough. Hmm. Knockback. No. I was hoping for a, a secondary of beheading, actually. Get out there. It's the wrong time of day for that. Go on. Go on. Back out in the water. There you go. They sort of bounce off you. Oh, alright. So when they get head first up on the embankment like that, that all of a sudden they start to flash red and the next thing you know they're just an egg sack. Alright, let's uh once more into one, two, three, four, five, six. And as you can see we've burned through a lot of what and that what was in there that's the entirety of all of the eggs my chickens have produced so far so like i said if you if you're not dedicating resources into just building this the emc up in this thing it's not a really overpowered cheaty tool you know that was however long i've been on this map and i've had chickens and collecting the eggs quite often and as you can see, I've been expanding the brood, so it's not like it's been standing still. Ooh. I think I just chucked one of their eggs by accident. I get them all? Yeah? Okay. See, I'm still over a thousand shy of what we started with, and all it made is a few bucks. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it'll take a while. Oh, there we are. More ink. <laughs> Should start melting those, because I tell you, I do get a lot of them. Uh, I don't have enough planks, do I? No. Dang. Uh, Let's just quickly. Oh, but you can't. I have to kind of take them all down. And there's a reason for that. And it's because of the fast leaf decay. If I don't take them all... Then... I'll end up losing whatever was up there. Because they will decay eventually, even if there is other leaves touching them. But unless I want to stand there for the rest of the day, which defeats the purpose of what we were trying to do, which was get something done quickly, um, yeah, it doesn't exactly work out in my favor. All right. <clears throat> I don't know 
why this doesn't seem to be the right pattern of bookshelves. I really don't. Now I know it doesn't wrap any further around us. It only comes up parallel with this thing. So I'm going to try that. And then I just don't know, man. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't open it. There we go. 28. I don't get it. Sweeping edge. Ooh. You know what? This would actually be worth doing. That allows you to, I believe, get like pretty much all the foes in front of you. Hmm. But I still don't get why. I'm not getting the full 30. Yeah, 28 at the highest. Ooh, experience boost, nice. Um, unbreaking 3. Efficiency 3. Wow, those would be really nice. Well, I want to wait until I find out why I'm not getting the full, the full 30 levels. And I'll have to look that up because I must be, I mean, I had an enchantment table on my other world. And I'm pretty sure I actually had two less bookcases. I'm pretty sure it was like, that wasn't there and that wasn't there. But something's not. Two, three, four, five, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. No, that's more than I need, I think. Hmm. Well, I will figure it out. I will, I will, I will. But we have the ability for enchanting now. So I think I'm going to call the episode there. Yeah, I do believe we're probably about 40 minutes up. Hmm. Yeah, I'd really like to know why that didn't... Uh, ooh, I could... Uh, sinew. Oh, interesting. It's the first time I've gotten that. Huh. I'm going to cook up a little food here, because I don't know where I put mine. <laughs> no, seriously, I've got like 30-something cooked beef somewhere. Uh, we might as well dump our thingies in there. Do I have one with wool in it? Or you, no, you're not wool. must still be in here. No, there's no wool in there. That's just raw beef. Maybe I only imagined I cooked it. Let's put our experience back into the tome. Hmm. But yeah, as I say, there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Till next time, take care of each other. And ciao for now.